we see the decomposition of ozone in this reaction. And we're given the frequency factor as well as the activation energy for this reaction. What we want to do is we want to find the rate constant at 298 Kelvin. So let's write down what do we know. Well we know the activation energy is 93.1 kilojoules per mole. And then we also had A, it gave us the frequency factor, which is 4.36 times 10 to the 11th. And then we know the temperature is 298 Kelvin. Now we want to find K, right? That's your rate constant is K. And we have a formula for that. We have that K equals big A, then we have E to the negative E sub A over RT. Okay, so we need to figure out what exactly is the value of R. Well, I notice I've got moles and I've got kilojoules. So what am I going to do with that? Well, I'm going to have to use a rate constant that has some kind of moles and joules or kilojoules, which just so happens to be 8.314 joules per mole. Remember, mole times Kelvin. So now what I want to do is I want to plug everything into the equation right up here at the top of the right-hand column. So I want you to do that, and I want you to solve it, and then I want you to come back and check your answer. So what I first did is I plugged in everything that I knew. Now, watch your units, because notice, remember, it was given to us in kilojoules, so I have to convert that to joules on the top. And then I divide by the R and the T, I got this number right here for the exponent factor, and then when I actually performed that multiplication, I got this final answer. Now, you can leave it in this form, or you can write it in scientific notation. The key is, how many significant figures do we want? Well, we've got three and three, so we want three significant figures. So let's say we put it in scientific notation. It would be 2.09 times 10 to the minus fifth.